this series of videos, we're gonna be creating an old Doom clone. And this first video though, is really just about doing some initial setup stuff. What we need is a test room, and we also need these sprites. Now these sprites are pretty easy to locate, but they're kind of hard to get out of the original Doom files. We're not gonna use the original Doom files, we're gonna use some ones that have been edited and created for free use, and uh, we can get those online. But what we need to get, well let's just have a quick look at the game first. So this is not the whole thing of course, this is just a test level and then we'll build upon it later. Uh, so we'll actually make the enemies respond to injuries. They do die though. So we've got that working and some lighting effects and some other things. Um, but we're gonna take our time and go through this. I'm not sure how long this series of videos will be. I've built it up to this stage at the moment and then plan to uh, extend it. But there's gonna be room for you to extend it, of course. So I don't wanna just tell you exactly what to do. There'll be parts where you can go, oh, I can make a plasma gun and it's gonna be as simple as modifying the rocket launcher speed, the sprite and the damage. And so it's gonna be uh, kind of things like that where you can learn along the way as well rather than just following along. So let's go ahead and we've got to download some files first. So one of these files is called the Doom WAD Extractor. And if you type WADEXT, W-A-D-E-X-T, into um, Google, you'll come across this one here. And in here, you'll want to get, <coughs> excuse me, you'll want to get the WAD Extractor latest release over here on the right hand side. Okay, so you can download that and extract that into your folder. Now, um, I've extracted it into a folder called Doom Wads. I'm gonna keep everything in here. You can see I've already extracted a few of these and I've extracted um, WAD EXT in here. Now I'll show you where to get these files and then I'll kind of show you how to use the WAD EXT, um, WAD Extractor. So let's go ahead and go to a website called Realm 667. So this one here, if you type that into Google, uh, we actually wanna to go to the repository, but I'll show you how to get there from the main page. So if you go to this site, you'll get a little pop-up. It should appear in a sec. If it doesn't, all good. But on the left-hand side, you wanna click repository. And then on the left-hand side, you've got the armory and there's different resources here. Here's the enemies. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a weapon. Let's go into the Hexen style. And you can get all of these. So let's go and grab a, I'll get a crossbow. So let's get this iron crossbow here. It's just going to download it. And then I'll go back. Oops, I'll go to here. We'll go to other style for this one. And I'm gonna grab one of these enemies. Let's go ahead and grab uh, this evil knight. No, I'm gonna grab this weird looking thing here. The phlemoid. Okay, so let's go ahead we'll go back into here. Now we've got this and we've got our sprites. So let's go back to our downloads. And this bit here, we are go I'm just gonna put these two fo files into my Doom Wads folder, keep everything together. And so now that I've got all these files here, let's extract this. So I've got a tool called 7-Zip, um, so I can just extract this very quickly. You may have to go open with, uh, I'm not sure, you may need to click it, double click it, and then extract all and do it that way. Um, whatever's easier for you, just go download 7-Zip, it makes things a lot easier, 7-Zip extractor here. So I've got this folder here now called Phlemoidus Tenacious. I open that and it's a WAD file. Now if you try to double click it, nothing's going to happen. You're going to get a thing saying open with file, whatever. So what you need to do though, is before you do this, you need to go to this WAD extender and double click it and make sure it runs. Now it's probably not going to run. It's probably going to do this. Let me just delete this and um, show you what it will do. So download what extender, just bring that out of here. I'll show you what it will do. Let's bring that back into here. So when you run it, it's probably not gonna do anything. Um, you may need to go properties. Oh now it's letting me do it actually. So 
this is weird, I've already set it up. Okay, so what you'll have to do is you'll have to right click on this and click properties. And down here, there should be a button that says unlock. And you have to unlock it because Windows 10 doesn't like this file. It's not a virus. You can send it to virus total, um, but uh, it's Windows 10 doesn't like it. You need to unlock this in order to run it. And then what you'll do is you'll go to one of these WAD files, right click, select open with, choose another app, tick this button at the bottom and look all the way down the bottom here, look for another app on this PC, find the WAD extender executable and click open. So what's gonna happen now when you double click this, it should extract it, it'll run it with the WAD XT, EXT and you'll get all the sprites in here. So we can actually use all these sprites now. So it's, if you have any issues with this, I can help you with it. Um, pop a message down below or if you're in my class just see me in class um, but for example if I grab this one and do the same thing 7-zip extract to there and I go into the folder and I double click that I've made it really easy for myself to get the sounds and the sprites out of this here now some of the sprites aren't always in the best order so it looks like this is the main idle sprite um, this is like the the shotgun blast sprite and then there's like a reload animation that follows. But I don't actually know what these two things are um, because they seem randomly in the middle of it. Uh, and then there's and there's that. Uh, and then there's that which looks like it's putting things in, but it could also be taking the empty shells out. Some of these are a bit confusing um, and you may have to play around with them or just pick another one. But most of them are pretty straightforward. So I got my bow here as well. Let's just go through one more time. Extract it to there, double click this, and then I've got the sprites. So I've got all the sprites for that bow. Looks like there's a reload action there. In use, empty, and reloaded, etc. Not sure what these ones are. Don't know. Um, but they're all there, so that, that's all good. The other thing uh, that you want to get for the next video is some kind of texture. So if we go back to here, and at the top here, we go to texture stock. It doesn't really matter where, Doom style. I'm actually not sure if some of these are ripped straight out of Doom. They kind of look like it, but they also kind of look a bit budget. I know that for sure is, but it does say cages texture pack. I don't know. Anyway, I'm just gonna grab a small one because I don't want 5,000 uh, different sprites. So I'm just gonna grab this black and green texture pack, it's only 200K. And I'll go back to my downloads. I wanna keep everything nice and neat. So I'm making a folder here called Doom Wads. And that was called, which one was that? Duke text, no, oh, there, black green textures pack. I must already have the cage one there. And I'll open that, double click that. And now I've got all these textures. Uh, some of them are pretty hideous, some of them are all good. And I'm gonna use these in the next video when we create a simple test room in Blender. So that'll be the next video.